Hello and welcome to Stotts Ross Maths key skill video on finding the area of a parallelogram. Now just to remind you what a parallelogram is, it's when you have a quadrilateral, a quadrilateral has four sides, like these two examples here, where you have two pairs of parallel sides. Now parallel sides are just when you have lines that are in the same direction. So you can see these lines are in the same direction, that's a pair of parallel sides. And you can see these as well. These are parallel sides because they're in the same direction. It has two pairs of parallel sides, just like this one does. And there's a very simple formula to find the area of a parallelogram. And it's pretty much the same as a rectangle. And all you have to do is just do the base times by the perpendicular height. Now I'll explain what that means. Now whatever we consider to be the base of the shape so let's just say that this length here was the base, then the perpendicular height, and that symbol just means perpendicular to, it means the height has to be at right angles to the base. So if that's the base here, then the height has to be perpendicular to that. Can you see, look, that height here is indeed perpendicular to the base, because that is a right angle there. So A is nice and simple. The area is just the base of seven, times by the height of 5, and that gives you 35. And because those units are in centimetres, it's going to be centimetres squared. Now, the second one is a bit more complicated. Should we use the 13 as a base? Well, the problem is, if we want to use the 13 as a base, we would have to know the height perpendicular to it. So we would have to find this height at right angles to that base. So that's probably not the best choice of base because we don't know what that length is. Let's instead, if we rotate this paper, let's use this as the base because then look, we do have this height at right angles to that base. So we're gonna make this the base. That will then be the perpendicular height. And it means we want to use the six and the 12. So the area here, is going to be 6 times 12, and that is 72. And again, because these are centimetres, it'll be centimetres squared. A common mistake that students make is that they confuse this with the area of a triangle. So they do half times base times height, which is what you would do with a triangle. Whereas because these are parallelograms, we don't do that half. 